Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool stuttered effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here, just watch Kyler Murray right here, and you can see he kind of like stutters a little bit. It's honestly a really cool and simple little effect, but it's definitely a little time consuming. So I'm going to just break down and go over how to create this effect. Now I just have two clips here. You can obviously have as many clips as you want, but this is the main portion of the effect. I just kind of have this intro here just to kind of give it a couple more seconds to kind of show the effect. But here is the video right here. Now this video is made out of seven parts, and this is all of the exact same clip, and I just cut it up right here. Now each one of these is one frame. So what I just did was, for example, like I would cut it here, next frame, cut it there, next frame, cut it there. So as you can see right Right here this is um, one frame one frame one frame one frame one frame so I literally just cut every single frame so each one of these is just consisted of one frame now this these these five frames right here this up here is just a copy of these five frames below so you want to cut it up into five different frames or three or four or six whichever looks the best but I encourage you to probably do at least three or five and then what you want to do is you just want to copy it on top or copy all five of these clips up on top now these clips are made out of draw masks so you can see right here here are the draw masks so go ahead and click right here here is a draw mask here is a draw mask so go ahead and just click right here the draw mask is right there there is a another draw mask for right here and then we can scroll down and then we see another draw mask right here. Obviously, you're probably not going to be doing the NFL, so you won't have a you won't have a helmet, so you probably won't have as many draw masks as I did. But I decided to pit, do it do it the hard way and use a draw mask. I'm going to go ahead and just disable this clip right here. So as you can see right here, this is what it looks like. This is what the top clip looks like. And all you do is you just I'm just going to enable the bottom clip right here. And what you're just doing basically is. Let's go over to the effects panel right here, which it's a little, it's a little slow, but it'll catch up. Now, as you can see right here, here is the position. So I'm on the top clip right here, and I'm just messing with the position. And that's basically what you're doing. So let's go to the next clip. So the next clip has the exact same effects. It has every single one of the draw masks. So it's the exact same as the first one. They all have draw masks. However, if you go down here, the x-axis is at 35. This one, um, go ahead and click on it, wait for it to load. It should be at, yeah, negative 35. So basically what you're doing is you're, you're copying these clips, so you're copying it on top, all five of these frames. You're putting a draw mask on every single one of these frames. So basically you're cutting out um, the actual person. So let's go ahead and disable it here. And then as you can see right here, you're just cutting out the person and then you have the copy below it. And what you're just doing is you're just moving the person. So let's start right here and I'll just go through every single one of them. So the first clip is the X axis is at negative 35. So as you can see, Kyler Murray is moved this way. So let's go over to the next clip right here. As you can see, he shifted the X axis is at 35. This one, the next axis, the next clip is at negative 35. As you can see right here, negative 35. So basically what you're doing is you're just cutting the person out and then you're moving it over to the left. The next clip move over to the right. Next clip move over to the left. So as you can see right here, watch Kyler Murray. So he's moved this way. Let's go to the next frame. He's moved this way. Let's go to the next frame, he's moved this way, next frame moved that way, and then next frame he's moved up. So you're literally every single frame just moving the person to the left, the next one to the right, the next one to the left, back and forth and back and forth. And you can only do that if the person is cut out. So it creates this really, really cool um, uh, stutter effect. It's definitely really cool and really interesting effect and hopefully I kind of went over enough to kind of give you a basic idea of how to create the effect and obviously you can go over and, make, and put your own creative twist on it but that's literally how you create this effect these these two clips are copies of each other the top clip 
you, you use the draw mask to cut it out and then you just move it to the right the next one you move it to the left and so on and so forth so that's pretty much how you create this very simple basic and easy effect but it, it's a simple effect but it's definitely time consuming because you have to cut out the person obviously this is more, way more difficult because he has a helmet on if the person doesn't have a helmet on it's probably gonna be a lot easier to cut the person out anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every single day so if you enjoy those types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button i also have a final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 100 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace